So, a little bit of a rundown on me and my teeth and everything is that I went to the dentist. Didn't see my surgeon, didn't see my orthodontist, but I went to the dentist. Ever since I had my surgery, I've noticed that my teeth are particularly sensitive. Like when I had my braces on and my teeth were getting moved around and everything, I like had my receding gum. Yeah. So there's that one. And then on the sides here, I also have a little bit of gum recession, but um, nothing major. I just think that it makes my teeth particularly sensitive. When I'm eating hot and cold food, I've got to kind of separate that out because if I bite into an ice cream and then have like some hot pumpkin soup, which is often how I do things, not, maybe. So if I do that, my teeth end up being a little bit like, ah, like even that, like breathing cold air past my, past my teeth, it hurts. Or drinking water, it hurts. Yeah. So I was seeing my dentist because I noticed that my back tooth on the left hand side up the top was like giving me a little bit more grief than usual. And I thought that it might be a hole. I also have had a couple fillings in my time and I've been told that I am more susceptible to getting holes in my teeth because I have really deep grooves. And so that means that food is more likely to get stuck in there and bacteria is more likely to eat away at it. And that, my friend, is how fillings come to be needed. Long story short, is I booked myself in to see the dentist. He was like looking around at my teeth, telling me that I'm really good at brushing my teeth. I'm really good at keeping it clean and my gums look healthy, which is great. Then he told me that I actually have a tooth with a hole that I wasn't even aware of on the top back right hand side. And the top back left hand side is only causing me grief due to sensitivity in my teeth. I did have a hole. It just wasn't where I thought it was. He also took x-rays to check my teeth and to see whether there were holes anywhere, but it was just that one tooth. Just that one tooth. I don't think it was like a really deep hole or really problematic hole because I literally wasn't even feeling pain on that side of my mouth. Now, I don't know the technical terms for uh, basically getting your filling put in, but I do know what my experience was, which involved keeping my mouth open for a very long extended period of time and having utensils come in and out, which included drills of various sizes and squidgy stuff that got put in to fill the hole and then buffers and polishes and all that fun jazz. One thing I should point out is that my dentist was good and he knew what he was doing. I didn't feel like I was in bad hands or anything, but it was kind of funny because his utensil, the water sprayer thing, it was just like literally spraying so much water in my mouth. <laughs> When it would like hit my tooth, it'd spray back up at him. Kept on having to like wipe his glasses because it was getting waterlogged. And I'm like sitting there <laughs> choking up in some water at times. And the assistant's doing their best to like siphon it out. But it kept on coming down the side of my face. And so they've got like these paper towels that are like getting put here so that I'm not drowning in water. There were a few things that we were that we were battling with together. He kept on asking me if I was doing okay. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, I love having this done. <laughs> yeah. Um, not a fan of going to the dentist. That went well. That went fine and fancy. I can feel it. It was nice and neat. Or I might even just show you that right now. When he put the anesthetic in, he put it in on uh, that side because that's like where the hole was and worked really, really well. But for the rest of the day, like hours later, I was still feeling this weird residual ache and a painful numbness when I moved my mouth. So if I went like this or like rubbed around there, it was just really, really tender and sore. So I was googling and I was having a look at all that. And um, apparently getting a feeling in can make your jaw feel that way. Think about it. Like you're sitting there with your mouth like <laughs> for an extended period of time. And holding your jaw in that position, particularly after you've had jaw surgery, can be kind of not nice. So I think that it's related to the surgery. Not that it's a problem. My tooth seems fine. My jaw works. I can eat food. I'm not complaining. The sensation in my mouth has definitely come back like 99%. <laughs> It's just something that I was not even sort of anticipating going into it. I thought it would be exactly like every other time that I'd had a feeling and it wasn't. It was a bit different. It was literally the same feeling along the top of my jaw for like the next day or two or three that I was just feeling like this extreme sort of awareness of it being there, if that makes sense. And I'm not usually that conscious of my jaw being there. It's just sort of there. The reason that I wanted to point this out or discuss it is just because I regrettably have had a few holes in my teeth and I've had a few fillings put in and I've never had this experience before surgery where it sort of aches afterwards. 
So that's just something to keep in mind. I feel like all people who have had jaw surgery will probably agree with me. After you've had that experience, you are just sick of people putting their bloody hands in your mouth. Going to the dentist involves that and you don't really feel like living through that experience again. And of course, of course, of course, subscribe to the channel, like the button, communicate with me, comment down. I, mm, what am I trying to say? Have you ever had something like this happen after surgery where you've had a feeling and it's been weird? Uh, peace out, dudes.